Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 The Green Family Legacy! Oh my goodness, and what's happening? There's a bunch of music! The Spice Festival is in town! Click on the dynamic signs around town to find out more! You guys, the Spice Festival is finally here! Okay, that's actually what we were waiting for. So we were over here with Colette, waiting for the Spice Festival to begin! And we have not had a festival since we arrived in San Maishuno for quite a while. Spice Festival, are you gonna appear here? Oh my goodness, look, you can see things! <gasps> they all vanished! Okay. Okay, is this gonna be our very first festival? Oh my gosh, it's coming together! This is so surreal, it's like you're watching somebody set it up. What are you gonna do about it, Mr. Living Statue Teen? Oh my goodness, this is so cool! Okay, all the bits and pieces are coming together. Uh, but yes, welcome back to The Sims 4 City Living, or I should say Green City Living. And we are here with Colette. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And she was actually uh, painting a mural over at the comic book store just now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Is that the creating contest? That's so much fun. I wonder if they have vegetarian options so that Colette can join in too. Oh my gosh, it's on fire, you guys. I am such a spice wimp, so I'm gonna have to live Live through my sims on this so Colette they're setting up the spice festival over here it has its own music and everything that is so cool but yes we're in sims 4 green city living season 3 of the green family legacy and we're over here with Colette Ash is going to join her as soon as he gets off work at 7 p.m. he went into work late today so he got in a little bit of trouble right when I'm trying to get him promoted too Fully. so we're gonna see uh, what happens over here maybe we'll meet some new friends Oh my goodness, everybody's changing into like new outfits. This is so cool. All right, so is there gonna be like spicy food available? Is there gonna be a swag booth? I've heard there's supposed to be a swag booth. Where's the swag booth? Is this gonna be the swag booth? I think everything's still getting set up. All right, looks like people are coming to open up this shop. This is so interesting. I've heard some people complain that when they set things up like this, it feels like um, it feels like Sims just vanish on you. But this is kind of cool. Is this the swag shop right here? No, this is a little bar. I want the swag shop. I want the spot. Oh my goodness, and look, there's the little bubbles. <laughs> so there it is. This is going to be the swag shop now. Oh, this is what I was hoping for. It's a little freezer bunny. It's a cute little freezer bunny. I'm like snow globe. That is so much fun. We'll have Colette come over. It's almost like this guy. Genji, what a cool name. Genji. Genji's coming over. He's kind of saying hello. He's kind of young. He's a young adult, but he's got like dyed hair. That's so interesting. All right. And meanwhile, the bartender has no hair because I have some sort of broken hair, uh, hair mesh buried in my game. So it looks like everybody's kind of coming on over. And there's vegetarian space or vegetarian safe spice festival contest curry that you can eat here at the spice festival too so it looks like people are running on we also have all sorts of food so let's look at the food while we wait for colette to finish her painting and we wait for about 7 p.m is what we're waiting for and then ash should be able to be here too sweet and sour eggplant vegetarian safe ramen not vegetarian safe curry vegetarian safe Lump lumpia not vegetarian safe and then we have sweet and sour pork clearly not vegetarian safe but that's so cool and meanwhile colette is making a really awesome mural here on the side of the comic book store i really love this area so the comic book store you guys i have some interesting news about how we are going to fill up the comic book store with comic book lovers and how we are going to possibly ex expand it so that we'll have an upstairs where people can do void critter battles but that'll be for later today is for enjoying the very first of the festivals that that we have here in San Maishuno because I'm really really looking forward to it. Ash should be able to be home pretty soon too so he can come and join in. But Colette has been having a great day being kind of rebellious and painting on the side of the comic book store building. They allow that because clearly they've kind of set the area up so that Sims can come over and paint and put down murals. But it's still pretty interesting to be able to see uh, <laughs> how much she enjoys it. I didn't know she would have so much fun with it. But I think she likes that rebellious sense of like changing the world by leaving her mark on the, the brick walls and the concrete throughout the city. So that's really fun. And then she did steal another one of the items over here. She actually stole um, 
the fire flower, the Mario fire flower that we had right here. But unfortunately, it seems there is a bit of an error right now. So there's a glitch where anything that my Sims steal that would go into their household inventory, it just doesn't leave the lot. And I tested it without any mods installed. And right now, we just can't use her kleptomaniac trait to its fullest extension by being able to go and snag things like this really cute little star or the little turtle shell. We can't snag those things and we can't take them home because if she does swipe it, she will succeed. It'll go in her household inventory, but it'll actually stay right there and it'll never show up in her household inventory. I removed all my mods and tested it again to see if it was specifically these items, if it was this lot, if it was this world. Tested it under all sorts of circumstances and it seems anything that's big enough to go inside a household inventory, we can't steal. But anything small, we can actually steal. Anything that you can put into your household inventory, we can actually uh, swipe. So like over here, we can attempt to swipe the food and that would go into our inventory and we would have a successful swiping. So it's too bad we can't successfully swipe, say, uh, some of the cool little freezer bunny things over here. But there we go. So it's the festival time. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, this is awesome. All right, let's get Ash over here. There's so many neat people that I think that we would definitely have call up me so that she can try to make some more friends here in the city. And it's our very first festival, so I really want him to have fun. And this is this is the girl I really want to call up to meet because she looked pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and send her over to there. Uh, let's see. So let's have her maybe brighten day. Uh, in fact, because it is kind of a discuss color theory, maybe, because there's lots of beautiful color going on over here. And then let's bring Ash over here. So no, I didn't want to switch control. I clicked the wrong thing, you guys. <laughs> Hang on just a second. Why? There we go. So I brought Ash to the festival. That's much better. And our bills have just arrived for our new apartment. And that's actually really good. That's only 500 Simulonians. We can totally handle that because we have a lot of savings stocked up from moving into a small apartment. So that should go pretty well. And now let's move everybody over here. Come on, everyone. I want to enjoy this spice festival. Ash needs to relax for a little while. He needs to kind of focus on something that's really fun. And let's bring Colette over here too. She could even stage a little protest for No Sims Left Behind. Oh, and there's Aunt Lily. Lily, what on earth are you wearing? I don't remember giving you any um, any glasses and boots like that. We're just gonna have to see what everybody's up to. But Ash really likes eating out on the town. So I think he's gonna have a fun time here. And who's this? Is that, okay, Saya and oh, there's so many Sims. I'm so excited. Oh, and is this okay? So he's selling something else, and then the swag shop is selling something. Oh, and we have the Mexican food. It's like there's so many places that open up during these kinds of festivals. This is so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's go ahead and watch the performance. Oh, is Ash eating something? Oh, he's attempting to suffer the spicy curry for real. <gasps> he's gonna try to eat it. Oh, and look, there's his little, there's his little niece. Oh my goodness, Amber! For real, Amber, you're gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna attempt the spicy curry challenge just like that. And let's see, they get a little boost, savory aromas from being at the spice festival. Fine, all right, I think we're gonna have a good time. I'm not sure if our wonderful Colette is actually into spicy things like Ash, but I think Ash should be like, come on Colette. Like just, cause he doesn't really understand, maybe people wouldn't enjoy the food as much as he would. Oh, and his Aunt Lily is here. So I guess they're gonna, Lily, are you just admiring the bubbles? I could see Colette being into hanging out with the bubbles. It looks like Ash isn't used to eating spicy food, like the spicy curry challenge plate. With time and practice, he'll be able to eat the spiciest foods that come with some of, uh, around like some kind of spice hound. Okay, so he actually, oh, uh, they couldn't do it. Ash has failed the spicy curry challenge. Try eating more spicy foods like curry, samosas, and bin puri to build your sim spice tolerance. I totally forgot about that. It's kind of like uh, a new skill. You have to come over and you have to start building your way up with the different spicy foods you can eat. So now there's, oh, there's different foods here. Interesting, sweet and sour eggplant. Uh, I wonder if any of this is spicy. I guess if they're here at the spice festival, they're probably spicy. Oh, you can sample the foods. That's so interesting. <laughs> And how's Colette doing? She's still eating it? Oh no, she threw it down. She lost the challenge. And then meanwhile, Aline has come over here to judge her. Well, we're gonna it, like evangelize the, the vegetarian benefits. And let's see how that goes. Say, look, it may not be to our taste. 
but we want to try some of this other food. Oh, and then she's coming over. She wants to order a drink to recover. <laughs> I will totally let her order a drink to recover from that. And then Ash, what's going on over here? Oh, he wants to... Oh, look at his face. He's like, that wasn't what I thought. I think Ash really wants to try out some of the spicy foods. This is so cool. There's just so much going on. Um, I'm going to have him grab another serving. Let's just try the normal curry. We'll grab another serving of normal curry and maybe it's spicy and he can just start building his spice tolerance. But I think um, Colette probably likes trying to cook with spicy food and I think Ash likes eating spicy food. So between the two of them, they might be into some really interesting things. Spinach wrapped veggie burrito. <gasps> That sounds delicious. Oh my gosh. I think that sounds amazing. Oh my goodness. Is it still spicy, Ash? This is so much fun. Seeing just like, oh, this is just, this is so much fun. Seeing so much going on here in the city. And Lily and all of the other Sims just running around and there's people. Oh, hello, Colette. It looks like she got a glass of milk or something like that. Okay, so she, she got a wrench, and it's excellent quality, so hopefully that'll make her feel better. Aline, why are you over here? Are you going to try to convince everybody? Is Ash, like, arguing with Aline already? Aline doesn't get along with mini sims. That makes sense. All right, and then maybe can we talk about... Complain about Dish? <laughs> why not? We can complain about how spicy it was. Look at how sad Ash is. And Colette is so sad too. They burned their tongue. Oh, look, and it's their, their niece. Okay, um, complain about problems. Uh, enthused about meal, discuss food flavors. I guess he can do that with his little niece. That's hilarious. Oh, Ash. Hopefully eating the curry will help him out. I can't believe Amber is here. Where are your parents, Amber? That's pretty hilarious. All right, and I think I'm going to go ahead and send Colette over here. I really want her to meet this person because she seems kind of cool. And Colette does want to become a city native. So what Colette wants to do is kind of get used to everything. Oh, look at this. Ash has learned how to make curry. He has discovered two of the 27 recipes available in the city. That's so many foods. I think Colette wants to become a city native for sure. And she wants to learn how to cook all of the different foods. She wants to become comfortable and feel like she's having a great time in the city. And now we've learned uh, that Anya is a music lover, art lover, and romantic. So that sounds like a really interesting person to know so uh, maybe ask about career with a career like that she's probably got some good uh, discuss color theory that should be pretty fun Kala has learned that Anya is a master of the real at 10,000 words gallery uh, is a master of the real at an art gallery ah I see that's pretty cool uh, maybe we could ask her about her day and talk about color theory a little bit oh and Ash came over to join us that's so fun ask about another sim <gasps> we can ask about other sims here what about oh Saya is here Saya is our friend I forgot about her already so we should hang out with Saya Saya nope you're not Saya where'd Saya go hmm maybe she's around here somewhere I see Devin so Devin is here trying out some new foods and being in she's in the tourist outfit so hopefully she's going to enjoy herself here Ash are you doing okay I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Saya all right, so Colette is starting to try to network and make connections. Oh, and is Ash trying to flirt with her? Oh, he's like, oh, you guys. He's expressing his fondness. That's so cute. And that's actually a really good thing because the Romance Festival actually does come up tomorrow. It's going to be on Saturday. So we might send these two to the Romance Festival. I think when Ash has the time off work, what is this? Spicy burn. It burns. Eating spicy food can make Sims uncomfortable. Oh, sorry, Ash. But I think that they're going to have a good time. Uh, Amber, why are you coming up? Oh, I think Amber is jealous. You guys, I think Amber thinks that Colette. Oh, that's not cool. I think Amber thinks that Colette like stole her uncle because they moved to the big city. So I think Colette's going to be like, I'm not in the mood to deal with this and just kind of get up. And I think that Ash needs to like, um, he would probably be like, why aren't you in school? And just talk to her that way. All right, come on, Colette. You don't need to hang out here and take that from a little kid. And she just saw her friend walk by with a drink. So maybe she'll come over and she'll spend some time talking to Saya. And Devin's like, sorry about that, as she walks by. 
<laughs> with her daughter having having caused a little bit of problem, uh, caused a little bit of drama. All right, so there's a whole bunch of really cool special spices you can buy when you're here. So it looks like there's chili powder, extremely spicy blend of habanero and uh, jalapeno chilies. Beyond the excruciating heat are notes of fruit and nuts. Perfect to spark up a soup, salad, sauce, or rub. Then there's curry. Curry is, in fact, one of the cheapest spices. Although it's used for many common dishes, it gets compared similarly, similarly to saffron for its ability to transform the color of food. The culinary uses of the two spices should not be confused used and should never replace saffron in food dishes and that's really specific like i feel like I, I feel like i need to break out like some notebook and be like okay never cook saffron curry like this okay okay and then we have the freezer bunny snow globe freezer bunnies are notorious for being cute and cold cold and cute this one trapped in a globe is no different it is a snow globe after all this freezer bunny snow globe is featured at the spice festival so they'll tell you where it comes from then there's saffron coming from the dried stigmas it takes an astounding 70 25,000 blossoms or 225,000 hand-picked stigmas to make a single pound, which explains why it's one of the world's most expensive spices. And that's true. When I used to work at a natural health food store, the saffron and the vanilla that we sold, the vanilla beans, were the most expensive things in the entire store by the ounce. It was really amazing. And there's the Spice, bu bu or Spice Festival bubble bottle. Ah, I wish I could give gifts to Sims because I feel like Colette might grab the bottle. Uh, too bad she can't swipe it that would have been really cool and she would offer it as like a kind of like here kid peace offering to amber so i wonder if amber's attitude towards her is going to affect if colette wants to have kids or not so that'll be interesting to see spice festival mortar let's see single shot there's a whole bunch of like candles sparklers wasabi there's wasabi here this green root is grown in the mountain stems many have gone to great lengths to replicate its hot flavor most wasabi products in stores are fake many think wasabi is the nostril burning paste served with sushi however almost always that is a combination of horseradish mustard and green coloring i had no idea so i think colette would be like i want to know the real deal and like learn to cook with the spices so we're gonna have her get a couple of each spice and definitely one of the freezer bunny snow globes Yay! She did something! All right! So she got to get some really fun new things. Awesome. And um, now what should I have her do? I kind of want to have her eat something from the Spice Festival. Is this just all normal stuff? So it looks like we have somebody serving up normal kinds of food to you. Uh, is this vegetarian safe? What's one of the vegetarian safe ones? Let's go with... Ah, uh, too bad those little roll things. Let's go with the sweet and sour eggplant. Whoops. I want to get Colette grabbing the sweet and sour. <gasps> Let's swipe it, you guys. Let's attempt to swipe the whole thing. Because she's like, okay, maybe if I go over there. I mean, look at her little face. She's like, maybe if I go over there and swipe it, I can learn how to cook it. So she's probably pretty excited about that. All right. And it looks like Ash is just going around picking fights with everybody. He really does better when left to his own devices. He can talk to Devin at least. Maybe Devin will keep him sort of in line. So maybe talk about uh, gossip about video game pros and make fun of noobs. I think Ash would definitely do those things. So we'll just leave him there to do that. Diego Lobo. Diego, you look like a mark. You look like somebody whose house we would want to go over to and steal from. Oh, no. Colette got caught. Oh, this is awful. Oh, okay. She got caught trying to steal it. That's so embarrassing. Oh, poor Colette. Let's go ahead and just have her grab a sample or grab like some to eat. Because I feel like she would be like, oh, it's not the entire plate free. Just a serving. <laughs> My bad. But really, she wanted to take everything. So poor Colette. And then I was thinking how fun it would be if we made a area in the city. <gasps> That's dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, we need to snag some of that. That is so exciting to know there's dragon fruit here, ready to harvest. Oh, that'd be so cool. And there's spinach. Yeah, we'll have Colette come over because she is uh, she is a vegetarian. So I imagine she'd want to take advantage of all this free fresh produce, especially the basil and all the other stuff too. All right, Colette, did you get the food already? Oh, she's chatting with Miko. Miko, hi. I didn't know that we were like friends. That'll totally work out though. Uh, let's see, friendly. Uh, ask us to see, uh, ask for reassurance. We'll go ahead and do that. Ash, where are you going? <gasps> Ash is really angry. So I think he had a bad time hanging out with everybody. So let's actually have him come over and let him try to calm down. 
sit and toy. Let's have him come over and try to calm down by the bubbles. So Ash has been really upset. He's having a bad time. He's been fighting with some Sims. So I think he'd come over to the bubble machine. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. Uh, he's really more here for the work. While Colette is adjusting to the entire city and trying to become friends with everybody and really understand the city's culture, uh, I feel like Ash just ends up getting in trouble after, like, in, in trouble just so much. He just bumps into things he's not supposed to bump into. Come on, grab a serving. Come on, Colette. Go ahead and get some, some curry. And he has a bit of a bad attitude. And meanwhile, Colette is really starting to sort of take on how exciting it is uh, to interact with everybody. How exciting it is to learn all the stories that other Sims have. Uh, complain about flavorless meat substitutes. Talk about Let's talk about dreams. Because I feel like that's Colette. She kind of wants to talk about her dreams. She wants to see your dreams come true in the city. Really have a fantastic time here. Make friends. And then let's go ahead, ask about day, and let's give apartment key. Can you give an apartment key while you're sitting down? Or is she going to get up? Colette, what are you doing? Colette, okay, there we go. All right, keep talking then. Tell funny, tell funny story. That She's probably not in the mood for a funny story telling, actually. Um, maybe, oh, maybe we could just, eh, she's probably not in the mood to talk about prized possessions either. Um, probably more in the mood just to ask about day, more general things, uh, discuss interest, maybe discuss food flavors and fun things like that. Uh, complain about the dish maybe being a little hot. And then let's try giving apartment key. Now it would be really fun if you could request an apartment key. I don't think you can do that. Like if Diego here has a really fancy apartment, it would be really cool if you could request the key and then go and like steal all their stuff. That would be fun. I forgot how Colette really wants to not so much steal from community lots. She wants to steal from Sims homes. And that should be really, really interesting. All right, Ash has discovered that Cadence is an alien. What, Cadence, you? Cadence is an alien. That's so interesting. I love her skirt. He is not having a good time. Ash, why are you trying to pick fights with everybody? He is just picking fight with person after person. He's feeling a little bit cloudy and dazed from the bubble machine, and that's about it. So I don't think this is his jam either. Um, I think that he would come over. Let's just send him over and tell, he'll like tell Colette that he's ready to go home. Yes! All right, we have given uh, someone our impart like we have given another sim our apartment key, so we're working on Colette's city native ability. Introduce self to someone new in three different city neighborhoods. So we need to introduce ourselves to someone. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll introduce ourselves to this sim just because we can. Oh wait, no, no, no! Don't stop eating your curry! I made her stop eating the curry. I didn't mean to, and she put it down, and it vanished in thin air. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to go. Yeah, ask Ash about his day and chat with Diego. <laughs> All right, let's come over, Ash. Let's go ahead. Let's ask about your day. And then I think we're going to send these two home. So the first festival we've come to has been a little bit messy, but very exciting. And tomorrow is actually another festival day. So we might go ahead and send them to the romance festival and see how that will go. And I also need to tell you guys some really fun ideas I have about how to bring our city to life with your guys' sims. So keep your ears out for that next time. And this is really colorful. I love all of the color and I love all of the excitement. And I, I just would love to see them be able to win the curry challenge but I just need to start hurting my sims like to do the things that I need them to do more so this should be fun we'll see if Colette can learn some of the different recipes needed uh, to be able to use all those fun spices but I feel like she would just think that the spices in fact let's send her over here really quickly I want to grab that dragon fruit because the dragon fruit just looks so cool and I feel like Colette is just sort of innately uh, debate captains and Ash is just not having a good time he kind of wants to meet someone new does anybody hear? Oh, it's Vivek! It's Vivek! This is Holly's boyfriend! Oh, he does not look like he's having a good time. We still need to, like, go back and dump him at some point. I don't really see anybody here Ash feels like he could probably hang out with, other than, like, literally his family. So I think we're going to go ahead and we'll send him all the way over here to our unused, but soon, hopefully, to have Sims in it, um, comic store. And I'm going to have him... He'll just go ahead and be like, whatever, I'm just going to pay my bills. And we're going to have him continue working on his mobile app for now. 
And then Colette, I feel like Colette wouldn't be able to help it. She would have to come on over and take this dragon fruit because it just is so bright and shiny. And she does indeed have that, uh, she does indeed have that habit of snagging anything that she sees that she thinks is pretty that she thinks is pretty interesting so we'll go ahead and just harvest like all of these things kind of down the line she's gonna be like seriously they're just gonna let me take all of this i think that would make her really excited there we go the fest the festival will end in one hour finish up any activities before it closes be sure to come back next time definitely will definitely will we need to gather up some potatoes let's gather up some spinach and i think colette would be really excited and feel like hey i should definitely try this out next time i should definitely try to uh harvest more of these things maybe we'll even like i was thinking it would be fun to make a lot that we could put down in the city that would kind of be like a balcony community garden or maybe like um a hydraulics uh sort of botanical garden indoor bot botanical garden i have seen those things in cities before all right so that should be pretty fun ash is over here almost done working on his app or something and we're gonna send these two tired puppies home but that was fun so that's the spice festival you guys really cool definitely have to build up our spice tolerance i've learned that colette really 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 is enjoying her swiping more than anything else so we'll have to see if maybe she gets more into the social aspect of her job being a um like politician so we'll have to see if what path she goes down i also need to tell you guys about the goals that each of my sims right here have all of the sims that i have in pretty much all of my sims games i'm trying to set up at least three goals that they have that i'm trying to pursue with them so that we have like some fun motives behind the legacy so i'll introduce you guys to those and we'll see what else they get up to especially because it's going to be the romance festival next time so i'll see you guys then Bye bye